generally speaking, a problem statement, um, which should appear in that introductory section, as I mentioned, uh, it, it should be a condensed articulation that sets out the main issue that your work explores. So even though your introduction may be quite long, so it may take you a number of pages and paragraphs to lay out the, the broad field in which your work falls and what some of the other scholars have said and why your intervention into this broad field matters, um, really once it gets down to an articulation of your problem statement or the issue that you intend to explore or analyze or theorize or articulate um, should be relatively condensed so that ultimately you, you can find it and anybody else who's reading your work can find and understand where you're going. So the reason I've got that picture there with the post-it note is actually one of my friends as she was working on her own doctoral project and hers was in i think polish and russian literature um, in the slavic languages and literature department at the university of toronto ultimately once she had figured out oh okay this is this is in fact what i'm arguing um, she wrote it out on a post-it note and stuck it on her computer so that as she continued to write and get kind of lost in the various chapters of her dissertation, she had this yellow post-it note to remind her, oh, okay, this is the crux of what it is that I'm supposed to be arguing. This is the point that I'm supposed to be making. And so again, that can be a helpful tip to highlight you know, in one or two sentences, what is the real core of what you're going to be analyzing? And again, um, uh, just as this is true for a longer doctoral project, like a dissertation, this is even more true um, for shorter peer-reviewed journal articles that you'll be sending out for consideration for publication. Um, you want to make sure that you are clearly articulating, okay, this is the intervention that I making into this broad field. This is the piece that I'm offering the world as a whole um, with respect to my research. This is the question I'm seeking to answer. This is the issue that matters to me. However you want to articulate it, you want to be pretty clear um, so that somebody can find that problem statement, that thesis statement, that core argument um, fairly easily in your research project. And so um, one side point about a problem statement is sometimes it only gets better the further along you are into your doctoral project. So at the beginning, you may have a vague sense of what it is that you're going to be exploring and arguing. Um, and so you know the rough arena, but you haven't yet done enough work to narrow that down and articulate it. So as you continue to research, this problem statement gets more and more refined. And so it's perfectly okay to start off with it not being absolutely perfect, and then it will become perfected as you write um, at every step of the way. And in, in my case, it was, I sort of rewrote the final section of my introduction once I had written all other chapters of my dissertation, because I sort of got to the end of the, the dissertation and only then did I know with absolute clarity what it was that I was actually exploring and arguing. And so you might find that as well. Each writer's um, process is a little bit different, but you certainly shouldn't be afraid of revising things later on as you continue to write. Um, this uh, from Ashford's Writing Center is a really great quotation, which I, I kind of love as a way of articulating the problem statement. And so what they say is the problem statement addresses something that is going wrong and serves as the center of your dissertation study. The problem must be one that is research worthy and contributes to the literature that has already been published on your topic of study. And so I like this quotation because of two things. So one, this idea that you're addressing something that is going wrong, I find really fascinating because sometimes it's quite hard to figure out um, what the point of a dissertation is, or what should you study, uh, how should you study it, why should you study it, and this idea of looking at something that's going wrong or looking at something that seems puzzling, looking at something that seems troubling, looking at something um, that doesn't seem to make sense. These are all interesting ways into a research problem. So 
if you think of research, so doctoral research and published scholarship as contributing to essentially knowledge production for humanity, um, then we want to tackle things um, as, uh, as answers to problems, as answers to puzzles, um, as ways of exploring things that are going wrong. So it's not necessarily particularly interesting research to look at something that is very well known and that we all agree on. So if it's not going wrong and there is no problem and I'm just going to write a dissertation about the sky is blue, that's not necessarily uh, research worthy 